What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Echo Calypse video. All right guys, I'm currently sitting on the uh, account for Terrorizer who is now no longer the biggest whale on his account because some people went ham uh, and beat him out on power. So good for them. Uh, I mean, I, good for them or maybe not good for them. I can't really tell which way you want to look at this. But with that being said, I do want to talk a little bit about a character that some people have been talking about in regards to how good is she and is she worth it? Now, we're going to be speaking uh, strictly about Rayon, okay? So, this is the only pay-to-win character currently in the game. Uh, the only way to get Rayon is through the special aid uh, event. So, essentially how, the, how this works, and thank you for those who clarified it because of my free-to-play account. I thought it was just expired, but apparently, in order to even activate it, you just need to spend some money. And Rayon confirmed, or Rayon, sorry, um, Terrorizer confirmed this. So, if you go to the uh, sp event section here, sorry, let me go to the event or the crystal mining, which you could have done either or, you can see a special section called Special Aid that pops up, special section called Special Aid, and this is where you find Rayon. So the first time you spend any form of money, it unlocks this mode, okay? Which means when the first, uh, uh, what is it, let's see, 12 bucks? So six, 4.99 plus six bucks. So yeah, but let's just say about 12 bucks after tax, you get yourself a copy of Rayon, your initial copy, right? And then after that, every few extra dollars, you get yourself copies, and then copies, $19 there, uh, copies, $20 there, etc. right? So roughly, about, I think someone calculated it's 200 USD to get a full seven-star rayon, um, which is technically the cheapest copy of a SSR meta character you can get. But I placed her on the A list. So the tier list went S, 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 and A. She's an A only for two reasons. Normally, if you could acquire her any other way, she would have been probably close to SS, maybe top tier S, probably more SS, easily, easy top tier. And I want to talk about the character and kind of showcase her a little bit, okay? And the reason why you'll see that she would be top tier. What makes Rayon an A unit is for two reasons. Number one, accessibility. You have to pay for her. There's no other choice right now. So when that when that changes, the tier list will also change, right? So when she's able to be acquired through the summoning method, then I'll probably get her through that method instead and we'll change the tier list to make her a little more accessible and easier to get. But with that being said, there's another dependency that she has and that is burn, okay? So let's talk about the character and what she's all about because he does have a seven star maxed out character and I explain to you guys, is she worth the money uh, if you can afford her and how good she really is in that tier? Now I gave you my tier list um, recommendation if the accessibility was easier, right? So you probably know she's pretty good, but here we go, active skill. Rayon wields the Lance of Lightning and deals 93% physical damage to front row enemies with a 100% chance to apply burn for two rounds. So you guys can see here instantly, burn is in effect right away. Uh, if you get her to three stars, that's what that is. If you start with one star though, that burn applies to 50% and 63% uh, physical damage. So it's a big difference, obviously going from one to three. But again, if you're gonna purchase her to full stars, this is what you're getting, right? Now, Burn, of course, takes debuff damage equal to 60% of the caster's attack each round because her attack is super high, and that's how you want to build her. That damage can spike really easily. Uh, her special, uh, Rayon locks into her targets and draws lightning, dealing 158% physical damage to all enemies, with extra true damage being equal to 15% of each target's max HP with Burn. The true damage does not exceed 300% of Rayon's attack, her crit rate and crit damage are increased by 50%, and she ignores any armor and resistant bonuses when attacking units with burn. This skill has an additional 30% attack. So that, of course, is the 6-star level. If you look down here on the 1st-star level, it's 112% with 6% true damage to all enemies with burn. does not exceed the true damage of 120% of Rayon's attack. So pretty damn different, right? But if you, again, if you unlock her, and get her bonus even to three stars, that 20% crit rate and crit damage are increased by 20%, and she ignores any armor and resistance bonus. It's pretty wild, and it can go all the way up there with the extra added bonus of 30% more damage. So when you get her to a max star, she is nutty for damage. Like, we're talking about crazy, but again, the dependency is on the burn, so you are going to have to use a burn team to really maximize her potential. So this is where Firentia, um, Shiyu, Winnow, um, characters like that really shine with her, right? Because they all cause fire damage and you need that burn damage 
to be on there for Rayon to fully maximize the AoE. All right, and then of course the passive here, submit to the Majesty of Sovereign. Before taking action for each enemy with burn, Rayon gains one stack of Thunderbolt, lasting for the entire battle. Thunderbolt, attack, crit, uh, crit strength plus 2%, stacks up to 15 freaking time, guys. So you guys can see here, goes up to 3% eventually. So does some insane, insane damage when her turn is there with burn. So it's important before taking action for enemy, enemy, enemy with burn, you want to have her kind of be the last order of things as if you're running a burn team. Now you guys can see here, the links here do have people with burn. So there's Shiyu here, Firentia, Nephesis, who's a healer. Uh, we have, who's this? This is Griff, uh, Griff again. And I believe I don't have Griff, so that's kind of a problem. If we go to the gallery, uh, where's the gallery, gallery, gallery? Uh, is it here? Hold on, let me go all the way down. I believe Griff can also cause some form of burn. If I'm, where is Griff? Oh, Griff's not out yet, I think. That's probably why. Yeah, I don't think Griff is out yet. So that's why Firentia is so important to, to build with her. So you can see the the level, the tier level of Firentia rise substantially if you are using a burn team. But again, becomes very dependent on that, right? Same with Winu. Winu goes up. Winu, I think, overall is better than Firentia, my personal opinion. Um, that's why she's on, I believe I put her on B. Uh, she used obviously a tank, so good good unit there. But all these units put together make Rayon shine a lot. Like we're talking about a lot. So the question is, is she worth the 600 bucks? Listen, it's a pixel, right? At the end of the day, if you're free to play uh, and you're doing fine, I don't think you need her. Uh, I think she's just an added bonus to your team. Uh, if you're going to be pay to win and you're going heavy pay to win you're gonna already have her at seven stars and yes you can absolutely use her on a burn team now i will be honest with you guys for burn teams they're a little squishier than you think i still think units like a can do way better kiki i think is still way better with full passives um but for boss fights if you're looking at top scores having rayon in a boss fight is actually worthwhile now you guys can see here my rayon only sits on, in second slot because quite honestly, I don't have a way to cause burn with this team except for Shiyu. Everyone else here is just pure DPS and, and Vivi's there for protection purposes to avoid skill damage. Now you can also put Leviathan here as your weapon to cause additional burn to other enemies. So that's not a bad idea if, if you're running a full burn team. But I don't, have a, I don't have a proper burn team set up. Now I can obviously put in one. So let's just try one in here, right? I'll take Kiki out. Uh, that's all that really matters. Okay, so here let me just show you guys how this works. Okay, uh, if we go to a boss fight, I think the whale might be a good a good example of this boss fight. So let's go to the whale. Now, keeping in mind the whale is unique in this sense because the whale is not um, oh shark. Sorry, <laughs> calling it a whale. Uh, the shark is is immune to a lot of debuffs, but burn is not one of them. Okay, so you guys can see here the amount of damage gonna, that's going to be done here on this end. Okay, so you guys can see the burn right there. Right, burn's gone already. Unfortunately, it's only one round. So you want to make sure that a burn does happen uh, during Rayon's round. Now, the beauty here is giving Winu the buff adds two layers of burn right there. And now you guys... Oh, that died. That's the worst. It just died, obviously, right on time. I was going to say, now you would see more damage from Rayon. Now, that, because that this, this thing died, we're going to have to see it afterwards. Uh, let's tap to skip. It's going to die again. And then Aiken's going to kill it probably one more time. We'll probably start seeing the actual real damage come through very soon. So it's going to be a few seconds here. Let's get to the four. I think the the, the four or five part. Yeah, five, I guess, for, for, for him. Okay, so this is going to kill. Maybe not. Okay, then you kill that time. That's good. So there's, there's a couple more, little bit more fire damage right there. And there's another more. There's another fire damage. Okay, so now, now we'll start seeing some of the damage come through, okay? Okay, so we need to see a fire happen here. There's fire right there. Okay, so let's hope nobody dies here. Or he it doesn't die, more importantly. Yeah, it's probably going to die again. Oh, actually, actually, you know what? We might survive this one. Yeah, now you can see. Oh, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, good. Look at that crit. Like, that's insane amount of crit. Uh, if we go back and compare it to the original time it did that move... Probably a lot less damage before because that crit damage increase would have been a lot, a lot higher because of that fire damage that was done, right? So we're at pl plus six now. 
Okay, so Varencia died, which sucks, but there's more fire damage. There's more burn again, right? You guys can see the burn is happening still. And we're round four or five here. So this thing starts becoming a lot more difficult around six. You guys can see level six. It does take a lot less damage, but there's another fire right there. It's going to lose this right now, probably. Oh, no, it still has it. Good. Okay. There we go. More fire. So, again, burn damage is important because it does stack. Didn't occur at that time. Uh, it, does, it does stack, and it does a lot of damage up front. Now, right here, we're going to probably get to 40, yeah, 47%, so not bad. So there's the damage there. Now, if you look at who did the most amount of damage, I mean, take Aiken out of the equation. Again, I said Aiken, Aiken is a whole different story on itself. Rayon does do fairly well here with a burn team. Um, so you can see everyone else just adds to her damage there. And we can probably go back and take a look to see how much damage she did with and without it. So is she worth the $600, $700, guys? Um, I personally don't think so. I'm going to be honest. It really dependent on the fire team. Uh, can carry herself, obviously. Uh, but I don't, I don't think she's worth that much. Um, so I don't, I wouldn't personally be spending that, especially if you're thinking about it even get maybe the first couple of copies. It's not that expensive if you plan to spend, but I don't think she's worth the full amount that everyone keeps comparing it to. So this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on how else to use her in a, in a better manner, let me know. I, this is the way I've always seen her being used. Uh, she does do great damage. And she definitely can carry herself. Doesn't necessarily have to be on a burn team because she causes burn on her own. Uh, but again, just way, way stronger when paired with other burn units. So that's the way I've usually seen her used. Uh, again, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.